Welcome to the Swim Swain Breakdown. As always, I'm Coleman Hodges. I am in my home of Brooklyn, New York this week. Finally. You live in Brooklyn after- now? <laughs> oh, <laughs> who, who knew? <laughs> Joined today uh, by Braden Keith, Swim Swim Editor-in-Chief from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Senior international reporter Loretta Race from Kentucky. Boy, do we have some international news oh to get God. through. Loretta, you came back <laughs> just in time. We, <laughs> we need you for this. This episode, <laughs> this episode has Loretta Race written all over it. Oh it is God. sink or swim on every single topic because we are just going down the list of national and international meets that happened in the last seven days. <laughs> We are starting with Canadian trials. It was a big one. We saw a lot of swims. Are you guys sinking or swimming Canadian trials that saw Josh Leando break two national records, 21.653, 50.800 fly. Maggie McNeil announced no individual events this summer for her and that she fractured her elbow at NCAAs. She just found out, or she just announced today, she found out sometime last week uh, we saw Summer McIntosh 401 400 free break and her own Canadian national record. So there were some good swims. There were some quiet swims. Uh, so Canadian trials sink or swim. Uh, Loretta, let's start with you. I'm totally sinking this and I feel guilty because of what you just said. I mean, Leando McIntosh, awesome swims. Okay. But yes, McNeil, her broken elbow that changes, you know, the dynamic for world championships not going to race any individual events. Um, and then Kira Smith, I, there's just others that just didn't perform to what we thought. And so I'm sinking it, unfortunately. I understand the temptation to sink. You know, Taylor Ruck was okay. Maybe we hope for a little more coming out of NCAAs, but she was okay. They still have some big holes in the breaststroke races on both men and women. Right. So I, under, I understand the temptation to sink. But I am swimming it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go kind of counterintuitive here, because this is a weird year, right? Like we know in swimming, this is a weird year. We're gonna have swimmers focused all over the place. The two sort of most important pieces, I'd say, that Canada needs to develop through this weird year are Josh Leando and Summer McIntosh, and right. they both had great meets. So from right. a holistic Canadian perspective. Um, I'm in looking long-term looking Paris, Maggie's going to heal. She's going to be back. She's going to be good. Yeah. Kylie Moss. They've got a couple of years. Rachel nickel had a, a good swim um, in the 200 breaststroke. <clears throat> Maybe she could be their breaststroke solution or at least a bridge. I don't know. Probably not. Um, but you know, <laughs> you know, they, they do have to solve the breaststroke problem, but I think from the long term, the two budding superstars of Canadian swimming did well. And so I'm going to swim it. Fair enough. Uh, that's all the time we have for Canadian trials because we have so many meets. <laughs> so next up, uh, French trials or the French, whatever. I'm just calling them championships or trials. Sure. Sure. They have their own name, but France's meet. Uh, we, we saw some good swims. The backstroke looks good. Flora Manadou still swimming 50s. Uh, you know, their best swimmer who Leon Marchand wasn't even there. He swam oh in San gosh. Antonio. So it was, it was, you know, it was an all right meet sink or swim for France. Braden. I am sinking this meet. It was kind of a bummer. Most of the <laughs> qualifiers were people who just didn't get bumped. Like they, they qualified Ooh. by not getting bumped to some, by somebody swimming at trials. Okay. Uh, Florent tweeted himself saying I'm the French frog. Was that not like the, epi- I mean, that was just like so freaking awesome for that. I meet. thought he was the French gorilla. No, he said French frog. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. He didn't even swim the 50 free though. I mean, the, the meet- <laughs> look, the, there's one thing from this meet that I think is a positive takeaway um, for the French. And that's that the INSEP group, which is a, a national training center did really well. Um, you know, they, they, ah, I forget the guy's name. Their coach just moved there not too long ago. And there was a lot of head scratching about why he moved there, but between the women's backstrokes um, and a few others in his group, that group did well. But other than that, this meet was kind of a bust and I wish we hadn't done the live recaps. We basically just kept doing them because Bobo enjoyed them. And if Bobo oh my gosh, happy, we're all happy. All right. Loretta sink or swim for French trials. 
I, I'm thinking it as well. I feel like we should have seen some faster times overall. Um, I do think Mew and Tomac is more talented in the hunter back than his times reflect. And they just haven't been there. So that's just one example of where I thought things would have been faster. Mew and Tomac has my favorite name in swimming right now. Because it's <laughs> no, it's so not. unique. <laughs> uh but yeah french trials a little bit of a bummer moving on british trials uh we saw they they did their thing in the men's 200 free abby wood looked super strong they had a other few other females who you know are just con- kind of continuing on their line of success lewis burris huge meet uh bouncing back after a year or two that were mm-hmm. kind of down for him um so loretta sink or swim on British trials. Oh my gosh. Totally swimming it. Okay. Men's 200 free. I think it's just like so iconic that it was the last event of the last night. Like six out of the, I think 10 top GBR performers of all time were in that race, which is amazing. So we had Matt Richards, obviously Duncan Scott, Tom Dean. We had Caleb Jarvis. We had Anybody really that has put up like a 145 or, or in that range in that race, which is freaking amazing. So Duncan Scott, after the race, basically said, we were so lazy in the morning. I was disappointed in Great I love that times. Quote. I know, I know. He's it's so been brutally been, honest. I love that quote. <laughs> He's yes, so brutally we're soft. honest. Yes, I know. So he he does recognize that they are like the gold standard. Honestly, GBR is when it comes to the 200 free. I mean, they have James Guy, they have everybody. So I think the fact that they had two 145s in the final, it and most likely unrested because Tom Dean is already pre-qualified. Basically, Duncan Scott is pre-qualified. Let's just say that. Um, you know, it it that speaks to just how talented that field is without even having to totally strip down, shave, you know, put forth everything they have, you know, to put, to uh, get into the world rankings. I think that's just freaking amazing. So that was the race obviously, but as you mentioned, Coleman, Lewis Burris impressed the hell out of me. Okay. That dude now is the number two great Britain performer in the 50 and the hundred free. Okay. Nearly broke Duncan Scott's record in the hundred free. I mean, he's on fire and it's great that he invests so much and trusts so much in his coach, Zoe Baker. He is traveling to West Australia to follow her. She's taking a job there. That's where he's going to be stationed. He's going to um, compete at the uh, Australian championships, but he's already qualified for, you know, GBR's Commonwealth team and uh, world championships team. So I am really, I am really excited to see where that storyline goes uh, for him in Australia. Braden, sink or swim, British trials. Well, I am sinking Loretta's Duncan Scott impression because that is not a Scottish brogue like anyone that I've ever heard. (laughs) Um, But I am going to swim the meet too. I'm going to swim it for a little bit of a different reason. I think the British juniors really stepped up here, and this is something maybe. We didn't see as great in Canada or France or some of these other places. The, the, the next generation of British swimmers did really well. Thinking Phoebe Cooper, who broke um, the 200 IM national age record. She went 217 at 13 years old. Freya Colbert, Colbert, Colbert. I assume she <laughs> says Colbert, but you know, the English don't really like the French. So maybe she says Colbert. Um, went 157 in the 200 free, which was a huge, like a three second drop for her, I think. So... Katie Shanahan um, won the 200 back. Yeah. Katie so, Shanahan, yeah. who lost her age record to Phoebe Cooper. Um, <laughs> so I, you know, I think, I think Britain did better than most of the countries we saw this week at sort of introducing for the new Olympic quad, their next generation of potential stars. Um, so I'm going to swim it for that reason. All right. Got a double, got a double swim. I like that. <laughs> Moving on to our next meet, South African trials. Uh, we saw Matt Sates go 146 low in the two free. Chad Leclo had a big and emotional swim in the two fly, 155. Um, their, their breaststroke squad looks good. Uh, from Sean Mocker to the young emerging talent, Brad Tandy announced his retirement after his 50 free. So what do we think, South Africa, sink or swim? Loretta? I'm swimming it. Um, I think LeClo has looked better than he has in a very long time in his two, uh, two fly. Um, 
for me, Peter Ketsy cut. Wait, wait, Kutsi. Is that what you said, Brandon? <laughs> Kutsi. That's that's from Kutsi. Michael Heyman. I learned that at NCAA. Okay. So so Peter Kutsi like just ran down at 22, I think it was 15, 13, 22, 1, 50 free as the leadoff on the 200 free relay, qualifies for world championships, 17 years old, already an Olympian. Then he turns around and throws down a 156 high to enter back. Okay. Which I think I said would be like sixth or seventh all time American 17, 18 age group, which, you know, with Ryan Murphy, Jacob Pebbly, everybody else, that's humongous. So, and Laura Van Niekerk stunned Tatiana Skomaker, the 200 breast uh, world record holder in the 100 breast. So there's multiple people kind of stepping up. I think that it's an emerging generation of talent, basically, that just is on the cusp. And I think, you know, Budapest might be, you know, the door to open for them. Ooh, I like, I, I like the sounds of that. <laughs> we do have a lot of, we did have a lot of newcomers. It was an exciting meet to watch. Braden, sink or swim, South Africa. I don't know. I'm sinking it. I didn't really pay attention to this meet, um, which tells me maybe it was a little boring. Guy no. died. So that's a little depressing. <laughs> um, it's a little depressing. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. It was, yeah, it was a good meet. There were good things that happened. Um, we're hearing rumors that we're working to confirm that some of their better known swimmers aren't going to go to worlds. And I'm starting to get a little annoyed by South Africans not participating internationally in things like ISL and other chances for swimmers like Schoenmacher to cash in on her on her results and and sort of build the sport there that way because this has been South Africa's story right they get a couple of superstars and then everybody else kind of struggles to get over the hump and I think they need I think they need more international notoriety and they need that stuff coming back into the system um, for that to happen so I don't know okay Calvin Justice is modeling for like the top five like you know yeah fashion how did houses that in the world in free? I'm, he doesn't care about swimming anymore. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I'm sinking it because Calvin Justice doesn't care about swimming anymore. <laughs> he make more money as a model. There you have it. <laughs> All right. A meet that is still happening, but I do believe we might be able to agree upon here. The Italian trials. Mm. We've already seen Scalia break a 50 back national record. Uh, Martin Engi, Chacon threw down really solid times, 58, 500 breast, 52, 900 back, 15 year old Colosi, 345 in the yeah. men's foreign and free, um, Benedetta Palato going to best time in the hundred breast sink or swim on Italy swim on a pretty strong meet so far wrap out of this one. I mean, <laughs> it's like, it, I keep thinking, okay, maybe Italy has hit its peak. This is, this is pretty good. It's great for Italy, but this is going to be the best they can do. And they keep going to another level. Um, Italy is the most exciting swim country in the world right now, in my opinion. Um, and I think Pilato, Pilato's had some, some tough swims, some DQs, some missing the team and different things. Um, so to see her kind of you know, a 16 year old girl can, can have those things happen. And that can be the end of a, of a hot rising star, but to come back and, and swim another best time, I think is super encouraging for sort of the structure around her. You know, there were a lot of questions about her leaving home at such a young age and going to a big training center. Um, but she, she saw adversity and she bounced back and swam a best time. And I think that um, says a lot for what they're doing and how they're developing her. So this is a big swim. This is the most obvious swim of the day. As much as Loretta likes disagreeing with me, I'm pretty sure she's got to swim it too. No, I'm swimming it. But for mainly Galosi, I think that dude is just freaking phenomenal. 15 years old, um, 400 free, 200, you know, he bottom line is, is on par with what Popovich was or Popovich, whatever you want to say his name, Sung Woo. So I feel like he's kind of in that mix, okay, for Paris 2024 coming up. And that's frightening. That's very, very frightening. He beat Betty, okay, in the 400 free. I am scared right now. I know. I know. <laughs> Every meet. Fast in the 400 free. 
for America, it is. <laughs> just like the, I feel like the 400 does this such like a, a dip up and down. I don't know. It's kind of the same with the 200. I feel like that's the same with the 200. Like there were people for Great Britain saying, oh my God, there's going to be like 143s in this final. You know what I mean? And there were like 145s, which is fast. Do not get me wrong. But yeah, people always overestimate 400 free, 200 free, even the 100 free for it's men. A weird, it's a weird territory. Yeah, I feel like there's yeah. so much range with those two events. It's kind of like, this is fast, but is it, but is it fast? I do agree <laughs> with Braden's point of like every year when Italy performs on like the big stage, it's like, okay, this is like going to be their year. And like, they did really good this year, but they won't do that next year. And they have just continued to do that for like the last three years. And it seems like they are just continuing on that pattern. It's so we're staying. Juicy Cisal, <laughs> number all one thanks. Italian swim journalist, and she is driving the growth there. I don't even think I'm kidding. I'm pretty sure I'm not kidding. Their <laughs> their their improvement started when Swim Swim Italia launched. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> all right, staying in Europe, uh, the Stockholm Open, where where Martins of Germany has just dropped the hammer. Speaking of mid distance freestyle, three forty one. That is fast, no matter who you are or what age you are. 145, two free. He's number one in the world in both. Uh, we just saw, uh, sorry, Sarah Showstrom, 24, three, 50 free, which is pretty blazing in itself. So Stockholm, what we've seen so far, sink or swim. Braden? That's why I, I don't know if Galassi's 345 is fast. Obviously, it's very fast for a 15-year-old. <laughs> But I'm trying to think, you know, senior level was fast because we saw that 341, which is probably really fast for anybody, right? Uh, yeah. I don't know anything yeah. about middle distance swimming. Um, yeah, I'm swimming this. I, you know, Coleman, you didn't you didn't put it on the list today, but he wasn't the only German swimmer. I think the underrated swim of the week was Raphael Miroslav um, back home mm-hmm. in Germany, racing on home soil, going 47 eight in the hundred free. And it's not really getting talked about that much. And I don't know why, because he's the first German under 48 seconds. That's a big yeah, deal. Yeah, that's crazy. That and is a big, big deal for yeah. Indiana. Um, I think I think that's going to help uh, raise recruiting a lot, um, showing he can train sprinters to go 47s. Um, so I'm swimming Stockholm Open with a bonus swim for the Berlin Open and Raphael Miroslav. Okay. Beretta? I'm, sw- I- I'm swimming it. Okay. But for the obvious reasons, I didn't dig that deep into the results because I was busy with every freaking other meet. <laughs> okay. Beretta but hates I- Stockholm open. You heard it. I do first. not. Oh my gosh. I do not. We have one like angry Swedish commenter this week who is mad that we're covering British trials before we. I know. <laughs> oh no. I've gotten dinged left and right on every recap I've written. I'm like, oh my God. You know? <laughs> It's just difficult. It's okay, I put him on timeout so he can go outside. And okay, okay. <laughs> no, but I, I, I do think that this was almost like a quiet meet. Like we almost, we didn't forget about it at Swim Swim, but it wasn't like, I mean, there were so many other meets happening that are like labeled championships. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. Stockholm Open is just another competition that happened. And it was just crazy. I, this whole week was just fast times, fast times. I even tweeted something. I don't know if Braden retweeted it, but it was like, Literally, you can't say you're number one in the world. You can say you're number one in the world at this point in time for this minute, okay, until somebody else dives into the water. Because that's what happened. <laughs> Wouldn't it be There's great something. if they were all swimming in the same place at the same time instead? Yes, like the Olympics. Yeah, like you could have, you, well, you, <laughs> you, even, well you, can't, you can't just make more Olympics, but what if you had like a championship of the world? Like the world <laughs> championship. Great, Mark. Copyright. You cannot steal that idea. Fina, we're watching you. Okay. not steal that idea. Uh, no, none of them are going. We don't want to go. We want to go I know. to oh, that's our true. colonial championships. And stuff. I will say this. Uh, Rafael Miroslav's 47-8. Great for him. It's a great swim. But, but we're, that, we're, no, we're but acting that. like 47, eight is like, Oh, it's so fast. And like 47, <laughs> eight, like that's, what's getting us excited. Oh, it's like, uh, well, give me know, a 47, three, and then I'll get excited. Some life in a race shorter than 400 meters. I guess we're, we're, we're building into the season. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. It, what we was his best pre- previously? I'm, it's a great swim for him. 
But Hang I'm just on. saying. I'm pull up his best previously, and you're gonna feel. It's stupid. not. It's not getting me. I said it's a great <laughs> swim for him. That's that's well, when I said, and when I put in the title, Sates Monster PB, not Monster Monster PB. Okay, one forty six two hundred free. I got like basically Nikes. Okay, from every commenter who was like. 49.5. His previous best time was 49.5, yeah. Coleman. Okay, that's what I'm talking Great about. With for him. He was like 148, the yeah. draft 147 in the in the prelims, and then 146 in the finals. All that's right. why I called it monster. We got we gotta move on. Sorry. <laughs> we gotta move on. Brazilian trials. All I have to say about this meet is that while we didn't see uh, a, a bunch of scary fast times for the world we saw a bunch of scary fast times from really old men and that's kind of brazil's thing so sink or swim <laughs> brazilian trials Braden, you have a perplexed look on your face it's probably the the best intro we've had so far um in this podcast um i i don't care about the old men whatever they swim 50s it's fine um i am most ex- mostly is that excited. a sink no well, yeah, I am sinking it. Um, I am sinking it, but I do think there's still a few things to get excited about. Um, so like Stephanie Balducini, who hit the cut in the 200 free, she was 157 um, after they didn't have any women at the Olympics, I don't believe. Um, you know, this is a constant battle in Brazil trying to find female swimmers who can get to that next level. And she is coming to the United States to train at Michigan next year. Um, so for her to go 157 before even getting to that into that Michigan program, I think is really good, a really good sign for Brazil. Um, I'm still going to sink it. It was a bummer of a meet. They had like a but they had like seven guys go 48 and 100 free, which I guess from a depth percep- perspective is fairly impressive. Like it's just not it's not going to do anything. Though. Right. It doesn't mean anything. It's you know yeah. it's not like unimpressive, but it also doesn't mean anything. Yeah. All right. Loretta, yeah, sink or swim I, I, I'm Brazil. thinking it. I am thinking mm-hmm. it. I'm kind of worried for the Brazilian women. I feel like they don't have enough of a presence. Okay. Yes. We had the one Michigan swimmer Braden mentioned. So that's great. But I mean, that's one because point. Loretta you know? loves Michigan swimmers. <laughs> okay. I do. I do. I'm going to admit that. But no, I'm just saying it's, many it's, of them are left. Oh my God. Shade. Okay. So Shade. no, 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 no. Great Britain. Okay. After Ben Proud's 50 fly, people were like, she's a shoe in for the world championships title. And I'm like, hold up, you know, 42 year old, 42 year old Santos has the number one time in the world world record. Uh, what about this dude? What about Dressel? You know what I mean? So I do feel like the men are the stronger point and Santos shined as usual. So there you go. But again, there, there, like to me, other than Balducini, there wasn't a lot of like new revelations. No. The old guys were good, but they were just as good as we knew they were. Are That's why to me, me is, a, is a sink. <laughs> Loretta, uh, I have no opinions on your age, uh, <laughs> according to the Federal Employment Commission, and and according to Swim Swim Bio, I think I'm like five years old. <laughs> I think I put my birthday at like 2016 or something. <laughs> Good. All right. The next, the, the last few meets we're going to are more of quick hits. They weren't trials meets necessarily, but they had some fast swims. Texas men time trial highlights include Carson Foster and Carson Foster. 411, 400 IM, 156, 200 free. There were other fast swims, but those were definitely the most impressive sink or swim on Texas men. Whatever. I mean, swim it. The the nation of Texas chose their world championship team. Um, you know, Carson, I, you know, we don't need to, to bag on him too hard. But again, we know he can swim fast at these meets that don't mean anything. Um, the 146 to me is important because the U.S. needs 200 freestylers. Maybe if he gets on a relay, maybe that's what gets him over this hump of kind of stepping up in the big moments. If he can do it with teammates do it without so much individual pressure and focus. Um, and maybe that'll kind of get his system straightened out and, and get him on the right track where it seems like he has the potential to be. So I'm going to swim it just because uh, I think Carson really needs to get on that 800 free relay. Okay. I'm thinking it. Okay. Only because people give Joseph schooling such a freaking hard time for saying practice, practice at Texas. Okay. Carson Foster. Yes. Okay. Cincinnati boy, love him, whatever. 
but he puts up his fastest times at, at non-consequential meets, which is just not how you do it, you know? So once again, we will have trials in a few weeks and see if he can back them up. Uh, similarly, UVA women time trial, Kate Douglas, who just swims fast, whatever meet it is, 224, <laughs> 200 breast, 54, 500 free, Gresham Walsh threw down a 24, 7, 50 free, UVA women sink or swim. Whatever Wait. sinking it. Cause they can't do it in long course. <laughs> LOL. I roll. Um, swimming it because I like the tears of NC state fans. Whenever we say anything positive about Virginia, and I don't think I need nice. another reason than that. <laughs> Loretta. I'm, sw- I'm swimming it only because these people just do not like fail to amaze me every time I'm like, Oh my God, they're not rested or, you know, whatever they're, they just show up and it's, it's freaking frightening. What do you think Kate Douglas is going to swim at trials? Oh my God. Can we have this conversation now, Coleman. I think she swims 200 breast. Yeah. She can do anything. And 200 breast, 200 I am 100 free. That's my guess. You don't think she's going to do the 52? Nah. It, it, no, because it's the same day as 2 I am. They're yeah, both on the it, last day. It is a more compressed trials meet than we usually <laughs> see. So yeah. you do have to consider that. I think she'll go after the 50 free. I think she'll <laughs> see an opportunity and pounce on it. Um, Which work is a 50 free? Anyway. We will see. <laughs> well, yeah, but two I am the same. Anyway, we'll see. Queensland down under. McEwen, yeah. 434, 400 I am. Zach Stubbley Cook, 208, 200 breast. Loretta, start us off, sink or swim. Okay, so totally sinking this. Okay, so <laughs> WD Cook is essentially. Wait, did I say swim? Did I say sink? What did I do? You said sink. I think, no, I meant swim. All the Nikes. That it's swim. so aggressively too. No, yeah. so 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 WD <laughs> Cook reminds me of Kaminga. Okay, so WD Cook in the two hundred is equal to Kaminga in the one hundred. Okay, so WD Cook basically always does like two hundred eight. Okay, like high low range kind of thing kaminga same thing with like a 58 okay high low range okay they are freaking amazing okay McEwen is so versatile i just cannot register this woman okay 200 i am 400 i am 100 back 200 back okay she even has like a not that bad i think i think it was the 200 free so she is on form in form will with totally wreck coach. havoc huh with a new coach. coach. Yeah, well, okay, okay. But the point is talent I'm is gonna talent. Coach, but... Talent is gonna talent no matter where they're at. Okay. So she primarily moved Michael Bull because Chris Mooney had moved to Bond. Okay. So it's not like she and sought out, you know what I mean, Michael a different Bull. coach. What? Because her boyfriend moved to Michael Bull. That's well, I don't know who was first. I she feel might like have been she first. Was probably first. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So that's what's going on. That's what's going on. All right, Brayden. So, but- oh. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead, Brain. Go ahead. Oh, cut her off. Um, I am <laughs> thinking it because it's forever going to hurt me that Kaylee McEwen might be like a world record caliber 400 IM or, and we're never going to get to see it. Although, with the new nine day Olympic schedule, maybe they'll move that around and maybe they'll make it more possible for her. Maybe. Um, but I'm thinking it because that's going to bother me forever. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I, f- I feel like that is, is a good swim and a good sink because okay. that's really a big bummer for me too. All right. Uh, we can, these are highlights, but I don't know how you're going to sink or swim these, but uh, David Popovich, the aforementioned swam in Slovenia, uh, 146, 200 free, 4,800 free. I mean, just, just racking it up. Braden, any thoughts on that one? <laughs> Swim just so that Loretta has to say sink or she has to agree with me. And either way, I win. <laughs> I'm swimming it because I wrote the freaking article. Okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right. No, and- he, yes, he, he is absolutely just in tune with what he has to do to make those times happen. And okay. at this stage of the game, he's going to be sub 48, obviously. He's going to be a 145, obviously. We're talking so, about your boy Popovich. Yeah, that's no, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm talking about world championships. He will well, be I didn't on know if you were talking about Arno. Comer's no, Arno too. No, I, I'm saying world championships. David Popovich, 100 free and 200 free podium. Boom. All right, sink or swim. Can Arno 
mm-hmm. beat Heaney Our last topic in the hundred breaststroke at the world championships. Think. <laughs> Sorry, sink. I gotta sink it. Adam Peaty can be at like fifty yeah. percent and still. Yes, Arno looks so good. He's gonna go fifty-seven. I I think he could go fifty-seven mid. And PD was still wouldn't lose. Not if That's you said fifty percent. PD was fifty percent <laughs> this week, and he went fifty-eight. So, um, okay. Yeah, cool. I just don't see it. 